I was, um, so I, I gave a speech at the American Humanist Association in 2015. I think it was May of 2015. And I covered especially the, the idea that uh, liberals as a whole, the left, uh, needs to be more honest in their criticism of Islam and they need to have fewer double standards when they talk about the problems of the religion as a whole. And I was pretty nervous giving, giving this talk. I thought that for sure there would be a lot of people that would push back at my message. I had already experienced quite a bit of pushback. I was surprised. Um, I was a new activist at that, um, at that point. I had only been, been uh, participating in activism for maybe a year, year and a half. So I thought, uh, well, I'm going to get pushed back because I've experienced a lot of hostility since I've been um, active. I've seen a lot of liberals, a lot of leftists who are not really willing to acknowledge that there are problems in this religion and they're not really willing to be honest about it. And it may be that this is all because of really good intentions. They're wanting um, they're wanting uh, to protect Muslims from anti-Muslim bigotry. This is a very real uh, concern and this is a legitimate concern and it is great that they're willing to um, you know keep in mind that Muslims are real people and they deserve civil liberties and they deserve dignity having said that um, they're not being honest uh, they're not being honest that that the same people who can be target of anti-Muslim bigotry are also the same that perpetuate a variety of abuses in the name of their faith so when I was giving the speech um, I thought that I would experience a lot of pushback and I did to some degree um, but on the whole, there were I got tons of response um, from from liberals, from leftists, from, who messaged me, emailed me, found a way to reach out to me in a, in a variety of ways, and they said, uh, I agree with you, and I feel like I can't be honest about this. Um, I want to be able to talk about this, but I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to add to this idea that Muslims are these these terrible people and demonize them in any unfair way. I don't want to do that. But I see the way that the religion uh, perpetuates a variety of abuses. I see that it doesn't treat women in the same way that it treats men. Um, I see the way homosexuals are maybe demonized in this religion. And I want to be able to talk about this. And thank you for speaking um, on behalf of, of me and people like me. So I was, I was very encouraged to see that there were a lot of people out there, but also dismayed that those same people who reached out to me privately were not willing to talk about this um, on the open. They, many of them said, I would never say this to my friends. I would never tell my colleagues about this because I'm worried about professional um, setbacks or, or what have you.